हम माननीय उपराष्ट्रपति और राज्यसभा के सभापति श्री वेंकैया नायडू स्वयं कर सकते हैं अब मैं सीधे आज के कार्यक्रम के केंद्र बिंदु माननीय सभापति श्री वेंकैया नायडू से अनुरोध करूंगा कि वे कृपया इस अवसर पर अपने विचार रखें ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी ऑनरेबल स्पीकर श्री ओम बिरला जी ऑनरेबल लीडर ऑफ द अपोजिशन वन ऑफ द सीनियर पॉलिटिशियन ऑफ द कंट्री श्री मल्लिकार्जुन खड़गे जी ऑनरेबल डिप्यूटी चेयरमैन हरिवंश जी ऑनरेबल लीडर ऑफ द हाउस पीयूष गोयल जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर पार्लियामेंट अफेयर्स श्री प्रहलाद जोशी जी honorable ministers leaders of different political parties of both the uh, lok sabha and rajya sabha i would like to first thank the deputy chairman of the rajya sabha for taking this initiative and also would like to thank the speaker of the lok sabha because both of them they have invited members from both sides of the house and provided me an opportunity to meet to greet talk to you all people i am also thankful to the honorable prime minister sri narendra bhai modi ji for his kind appreciative words of love and affection he has shown towards me and also the leader of the opposition in the upper house in extending cooperation to me for my performance and also leaders of different political parties and all the ministers i am very happy on one side on the other side i feel i'll be missing you all because i will not be in this position of uh, chairing the house from 10th onwards this 5 years of this twin responsibilities on one side the prestigious vice president of india second highest constitutional authority and the other side presiding over the upper house of the indian parliament the privilege given to me by the party by the prime minister and also the affection and support given by other parties in fulfilling my responsibilities and carrying forward the mandate that is given to me friends i don't want the other day and i said uh, friends someone in the rajya sabha said sir this is the house honorable members and i always address people they view us as no they to brothers and sisters because i never used to use the word ladies and gentlemen and i always used to greet the people with the simple indian as of namaste subah namaste dopahar mein namaste shaam ko namaste raat ko bhi namaste ek hi vaat if you say good morning then you have to say good afternoon then you have to say good evening then you have to say good night you don't know whether it is going to be good night or other night simple our indian tradition our culture has so much in it and i love that culture i am not talking of religion religion is personal the way of worship 
but culture, the Indian way of living, the love and affection, the family system, and respecting each other, give and take approach, and then share and care is the core of Indian philosophy. Share and care is the core of Indian philosophy. And loving the nature, love the nature, and nature will love you. Nature, culture, for better future together. That should be our motto. We should all follow it in our life, in our respective ways. Vasudaiva Kutumbakam, that is the philosophy. The entire universe is one family. Friends, India once upon a time was known as Vesva Guru. I don't want to get into details, you are all aware of it. And we were the richest nation at that time. Richest. It may be news for many of us also because we are taught the colonial history. Suppressing the facts about the greatness of this culture, this heritage and this civilization. We are the oldest civilization. There are, of course, Egypt, Babylonian, Roman, but where are they today? And India is, once again, is on the rise. India is being recognized, respected, appreciated worldwide, thanks to the Prime Ministers that three lines, reform, perform, and transform. Transformation that is taking place in every walk of life, in every sector, is being watched the world. Some people are not able to digest our growth. Some of the Western countries, they don't have that capacity to digest. They are suffering from indigestion, that's what I say. Otherwise, the talent of Indian people is on the display everywhere in the world. And also, the advancement we have made and the infrastructure we have created are so great that we can move forward. Of course, I do agree that there are few challenges. Everybody should remember those challenges and give priority to face those challenges. One, still 20% below, or 18%, 15%, whatever you may say, poverty. And then around same percentage, illiteracy, who cannot write and read. And third is gender discrimination here and there. In certain areas, not all. There is a lot of improvement, of course. Women are coming forward. We are seeing their performance also. They are proving they are second to none. And then also social discrimination here and there. You, are, you read the stories even today. So these are the challenges we have in front of us. We have to face those challenges. And we should all work together. The center, state, local bodies, the ruling party, opposition parties, they all should come together to address these challenges. That should be our priority. That's why I always say nation first, party next, self last. Some people are trying to reverse it. It's a different matter. I don't want to get into that. The nation Nationalism, patriotism, desh bhakti mane kya hai? Desh mane, amara gurujada aparavaj ne kaha, great Telugu poet, legendary. He said, desh mante, matti ka doi, desh mante, manshu doi. Country means not the soil alone. Country means people. So their welfare, that should be topmost in our friend. If you take care of those people, then you are a real desh bhakta. And you should not practice any of the divisive things, irrespective of caste, creed, sex, religion, and region. Where Indians, am sab Bharatiya hai, alag bhasha, alag vesh, phir bhi apna ek desh. Ye amara visheshta. Isko kaayam rakhna, amara kartavya hona chai. In a democracy, we must have tolerance. Tolerance. Tolerance towards the other point of view. Tolerance towards the mandate of the people. People give mandate. What can you do? If you are not happy with the mandate, go to the people again. Mobilize. And then 
try for a change after waiting. This is possible in India. You have seen how many changes have come. You must have patience. If you don't have patience, you will become a patient. This has to be understood. You have to have patience. And the government, in spite of having majority, should also give respect for the opposition to have their say. Let the opposition have its say. And finally, the government will have its way because they have majority. But the opposition say must also be allowed to be heard. This is my advice. I come from a very ordinary farmer's family, Kisan family. I feel proud of my background. There is no school in my village. Three kilometers I used to walk, go to school. Unfortunately, I lost my mother very young age. I could not even recollect her face. That is the great misfortune for me. Otherwise, everything that I wanted, not wanted, expected, aspired, not aspired, everything has come to me. School people need our college president, union president. First, I was vice president, then president. University students, even chairman, then youth wing president, our India vice president, state party general secretary, our India general secretary, state party president, our India president, then MLA at Engage, and then leader of the party at Engage, though there were seniors. I always recall that I used to announce about arrival of Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee to my town. Aj Sham ko Kopit Maidan mein Aam Sabha hai Sri Maan Atal Karuna Hurdaya Samrat. हम लोग कहते थे उस समय श्रीमान अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी हमारा शहर में पधार रहे आप सब लोग उसको आके सबको सफल कराए ऐसा झटका में बैठ के टांगा में अनाउंस करते थे और रात में दीवार के ऊपर लिखते थे स्टूडेंट बीइंग प्रेसिडेंट आल्सो एंड स्पेंड टाइम बट आई नेवर विजुअलाइज दैट वन डे दैट सेम वेंकैया हु पेस्टेड द पोस्टर्स who wrote on the walls, who announced about the arrival of great leaders, would become president of the ruling party and sit beside Sri Man Adar Bihari Vajpayee and Adwani, both sides, being a ruling party president. That is the beauty of this democracy, but you must have conviction. You must be, as I told you, have patience. You must work hard. There is no shortcut. Work hard. And always think about the people and always be with the people. I have that strength and weakness also. I can't, as PM was mentioning, I can't sit idle. If I am taking rest, I will become rest too. Rest only during arrest. Otherwise, if I feel if there is any rest is given to me, I will become a little rest too also. This is how I could come up in life. Meeting people, greeting people, talking with people, walking with the people, eating with the people, trying to know the people, and trying the, to make people to know your idea. That's how I worked all these years and reached this, this thing. Thanks to the support given by Prime Minister, the President of the party in which I was a member, and all other colleagues. In spite of comparatively for some of the leaders I was junior, they all promoted me, encouraged me, not because of anything else. I can tell you also, I never touched the feet of anybody so far in my life. Though I treat uh, Vajpayee and Advaniji next to God for me, never. Still, I could come up to this place. One is their love and affection. Second is the hard work. I appeal to all the parliamentarians to work hard. Go around, try to acquire knowledge. I was really rescued, as Narendra Bhai was telling during that uh, COVID period. There was only one person who was happy. That, is, that was my wife. He said, for a change, he is there at home at least for such a long period because I never stayed. Even after my marriage also, I used to go around. So COVID, there was lockdown. So you could not go. So I used to feel it is restive, but try to communicate with the people in whatever possible means. So communication in public life is very important. 
reaching out to the people, conveying the thoughts in whatever manner you should do it. Pradhan Mantri, Man Ki Baat, our opposition leaders, their tours or yatras, whatever it is, or through articles, sharing our ideas and caring for the people, conveying them. I would like to tell you also the secret. Though I have given up politics, I always used to communicate with the Prime Minister and convey whatever feedback I got, I used to convey it to him and leave it there. Because as Vice President, I, I should not, I cannot do anything more. As a minister, as a party functionary, of course, we used to discuss, debate, and I used to be part of the decision making. But here, because of constitutionality and the protocol, you have so many protocols here. I don't want to run down the protocol, but it's more hotter than a charcoal. Try to understand this. <laughs> this is one which I could not uh, like and relish, but it has its own. Now. When you become country's uh, number two, so certain amount of these things are required. This is what uh, my officers and other seniors have told me. Friends, we are going through a situation where we are just able to come out of corona. And again, the momentum is picking up. We must be participants in that momentum, contribution, and see to it that the other challenges are met by all of us. For that, parliamentarians should be regular. Regular, another lesson I have learned, regular in attending parliament. Or if you are in party, party meetings. Attend to while others are speaking. Learn. I have learned by hearing many of these people, leaders. And then utilizing the library to the maximum possible extent. To know, to read the debates of the Constituent Assembly. What those great men have said at that time. What are the thoughts of Rajagoparachai? What are the teachings of uh, Sardar Patel, Jawaharlal Nehru? Many stalwarts, those days, what, does, what did Nadpai, Vajpai said, Vinu Masani or Acharya Ranga said, or Prakash Veer Shastri has said, or Bhupesh Gupta or Indrajit Gupta or Jyotirmai Basu. What are the speeches they made? You go through that. You may not agree on everything, but you, you will understand. You will understand them better. And by understanding them better, you are making yourself better understood by others also. This is one lesson I have learned which has helped me to grow in my responsibility. So I call upon all the members of parliament because we are having a farewell and we have the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha together. I am focusing on more on uh, the responsibility, duties and functions of the parliamentarians. We are celebrating 75th year of our independence. This is the time. Tomorrow we are going to have Fit India. We have successfully driven them out under the leadership of great stalwarts. But now we should recall the life and teachings and preachings of those great people. One thing I am happy about uh, the approach of the government of uh, giving Padma Awards. Recognizing the unrecognized. That is the need of the hour. to showcase them before the country. They are the real heroes and heroines. There are many, not the few, that found place in textbooks. Many, thousands in every region. Great people. I'm happy certain newspapers are giving life stories of these so-called regional heroes. They are not regional, they are national. But they were confined to those states. There are great heroes who made sacrifices from different states across the country, different regions, including the Northeast. Northeast. So those legendary great leaders, life should be recalled. We should tell our younger generation and uh, we should see to it that they know of the teachings and preachings of these great people and then so that they can follow it in their life. This is, I thought I should convey it 
to you. This uh, we should move on, move forward. We should be positive. Only thing good about yeah, the bad about positive is only Corona. Corona positive means that's different. But positive momentum, positive thought, positive thinking, positive way of putting things is the need of the hour. We should feel proud. We should never utter any word or say anything which will mine, undermine India's credibility in the Committee of Nations. As I told you, already certain section of the Western press, they want to run us down. They don't give importance to what is happening. And they try to give us lessons, preach us lessons about, they don't want to get into the details of how upper seed, how untouchability, how racism, how sex, this determination, discrimination on the basis of so, so many things are happening and how the countries are ruled with their own religious books in their hands. So we are proud that appeasement of none, justice for all, that is the philosophy of India. All religions, they must get importance, they must get respect. That is the philosophy of our Indian life. So let us all follow it and then see to it that this during the Ajayi Kamrutu Mahotsav, we all meet people and convey them and uh, <coughs> the great works have done by those people. And finally, I conclude the houses should function on the 3D formula. Dignity, decency, decorum, debate, discussion, then decision. The other fourth D should not be used, that is disruption. Once in a way, it's quite natural to people to get agitated, agitate, protest, but protest it in a more dignified way, protest through your voice, because noise is not going to help also, voice is more important. And then talk out, then walk out. Don't allow breakout, because it will lead to all out of democracy. This has to be kept in mind by all of us. And then, friends, I see the lot of talent in youngsters in Lok Sabha, in Rajya Sabha. For information, whenever I, I kept speech, I telephone even Lok Sabha members also now. Whenever I get an occasion to hear their speeches. And I always feel that youngsters, they should be encouraged. They should be given importance because they are the future of our country. So let us all be proud of our culture, proud of our youngsters and their talent, and give them the necessary encouragement. Once again, I want to thank all of you for your support. I want to thank all of you for your support. And I present the support that is very valuable for me. I cherish these memories throughout my life and uh, remember you. And we'll continue to meet, greet, even after demitting my office. I'll be going around and trying to meet as many people as possible and greet them also as possible. And then now, from day of tomorrow, 15th uh, August, we are getting again Independence Day, Independence Day. But 11th is my Independence Day from this protocol. I'll, I'll be free. I'll be free to go meet people, stop anywhere, suddenly go to anybody's house, eat food of my choice, share my thoughts freely, and mingle with the general people. Dhanyavad, Namaskar, Jai Hind.